Hi, this is the project that we will make today. So be sure to stay with me till the end and you will learn lots and lots of things. Come, let's go. Hi, this is Riti from Simply Crafted for Handmade today. So to make this beautiful project, these are the following things that we need. Look at this project. It is so nice and beautiful. So, and this has been made out of this empty looking MDF board. Yeah, this is cut out in a shape of a mason jar. And what I have used is that I have used transfer sheets, uh, which is Teddy Love Fun. Then I have used papers, uh, vintage rose, it is a deco thin paper and floral elegance. These are the papers that I have used to make the base. For the paints, I have used bubblegum pink, radiant orchid and midnight dreams. Also snow white. Snow white is something which I use every project, every project I use it in. So for the reactive foils, I have used silver reactive foils and I have uh, used a double sided tape to use it with. And for the stamping that you see on this product, I have used black Versafine and clearly besotted stamps. And this is a very beautiful stamp set, which I like. So these are all the products that you will need to create this beautiful product. Come, let's start. So to start with, I will start with these two papers. I have selected these two designs from Floral Elegance and Vintage Roses. I am going to tear these papers into small small squares and basically create a collage sort of a pattern onto the MDF board that I am using. The MDF board that I am using is in the shape of a jar. So I will be using this as a wall decor piece. After placing them, um, you know, alternatively, I will stick them onto the MDF board only till where I feel that the lid should come and one by one I will keep sticking them try and make a pattern um, the color combinations and but there is no rule there is no hard and fast rule whatever is left on the sides I will take out small small pieces from the leftovers and just stick and then sand the sides so that I have a clean crisp MDF jar once done i'm going to seal everything as always i always remind all of you in decoupage never forget to seal your papers once done i will give a coat of decoupage glue and seal this done sealing I am going to give a little smudged vintage effect on the sides with midnight dreams chalky paints again I'm using only my hands to do that no brush required all you can do is use your fingertips and just keep smudging on the sides you and this is also a very great technique to just cover up the edges where the paper is not there and just give a little vintage smudged look so carry on and finish all the edges for the lid I'm going to use radiant orchid it's a beautiful color so just cover the lid area with this color and also we can use the same color for the back as well for the sides I have used midnight dreams and for the back I have used radiant orchid
Now that the base is done, I am just uh, using a brush to give a little more smudged effect on the outlines. You can see I had used my fingers but I just wanted to give a little more smudged dry brush effect. So I am using a brush. I will be dry brushing on the lid as well just so that they match with each other. The smudged look should match each other. This is something which I will do a little later once I finish designing my product. Later I will see how much smudging is required and accordingly we will do the dry brushing later. Moving on, I wanted to use transfer sheets on this. Teddy Love One is a beautiful sheet. You must try it. It has very beautiful patterns of teddy bears with hearts and with love emojis. Very nice. I thought it was just perfect to make a happy birthday uh, wall decor. So I selected the two patterns that I wanted, the two uh, pictures that I wanted and I am just outlining. Always remember while doing transfer sheets you always have to remember that it is going to be um, upside down so you know facing down you will place it facing down so accordingly you should make your pattern so here what I'm basically doing is because transfer sheets are pretty transparent so I'm creating a base over here so I've already done the outline using uh, bubblegum pink and snow white paint I've created a white very light base that I want and I'm going to paint this to in the outline that I have already created. I'm going to give at least two to three coats so that it is a nice and thick canvas. And then later I will do transfer on top of that. But make sure that the paint is dry. So you can see that my paint was dry and I have placed my first transfer and after wetting it and giving it a moment I have peeled off. Always always remember to peel off the transparent layer of your transfer sheets otherwise you will spoil it. This is a mistake which I have done many times now so just a reminder to all of you. Well this is looking so beautiful it's looking so cute and nice. Now for the lid as I said I will be doing it later. Now that my teddy bears are there I exactly know the kind of dry brushing effect till when I till what do I need it you know because I this is a process which gradually grows. You can see that I'm brushing again and again and again and again but my brush has very little paint that is why it is called dry brushing and to give a slight highlight hue I am now dry brushing with white. This is very minimal that I've used just enough to highlight my product. Now using a zig marker I'm just giving some doodle effects here and there. I think this really helps in enhancing your uh, images and I really like the effect. So and of course you know art has no boundaries you can just carry on as much as you want and just keep on doing what you feel like and voila my product is ready a little bit of embellishments a little bit of stamping and i've also used silver foil on the lid over here see some stamping has been done some uh, embellishments have been added a few uh, sequins have been done and the reactive silver foil has been added using a double-sided tape and the product is ready. It's a beautiful piece to be kept in a birthday hamper as an add-on. Just lovely wall decor. I hope you like it. Stay tuned and follow me. Bye!